Hey you guys, Kyle or Epic here to teach you guys a really fun tutorial on a really awkward roll. I don't know what it's called, I've actually never even tried looking it up, but if you guys know the name, if you see it and you recognize it, please by all means let me know so I can put it in the title for this tutorial. But for now I'm just going to call it the funky roll until I figure out what it's called. But real quick let me show you what it looks like. It's really really awkward, I promise you it's awkward. But we'll go through breaking it down and hopefully you guys can kind of figure it out on your own and you guys can be rolling all over the place just like me. So, this is what it looks like. Just like that. It's really, really weird because you're going from a back roll popping up into a forward roll. Before you go and get started with this, there's a few things you want to make sure that you take care of. First, stretch your neck out. You will go over your neck in this in the beginning. It can be very easy to roll over your neck. So real quick, just stretch your neck out. Tuck your chin down. Grab with one hand and pull in that direction to stretch the open sides of your neck. You can switch hands if you feel like that's necessary for the other side. And you also want to make sure you stretch the sides of your neck. So work on touching your ear to your shoulder, but don't lift your shoulder or lean into it. Let your upper body stay relaxed and just tilt your head so you can stretch the open side of your neck. Make sure you do both sides, even if you're going only on one shoulder. The next thing you want to work on is making sure that you can do this very specific drill. It's kind of like a yoga pose when you're going back. You want to make sure that you can lift your hips up, whether you have your hands planted here, but pointing your toes up. If you have to start by putting your hands on the small of your back, that's fine. But the initial movement in the beginning of this roll is going back and lifting your hips. Back and lifting your hips. The next part that you want to make sure that you can do is doing a back shoulder roll. When you're doing your back roll, you don't want to go over your neck. If you go over your neck, you risk injury this way. But the way to fix that is to lean your head away from the shoulder that you're going on. When you're doing a forward shoulder roll, you're aiming for one shoulder. Same thing in a back roll. So you lean your head away from that shoulder that you're going over. But the one thing you also want to avoid is when you plant your hands, ideally you want to bring both hands and both feet towards that one shoulder. In the beginning, a lot of people will go here, like this, they'll go here, and they go like that. Think about like you're holding a football and you're bringing your hands to the ground. Now it might be hard to plant both hands on the ground, especially the one hand that's closest to that shoulder. So focus more on getting the hand that reaches across your body to plant that one nice and still. But if I stay with my back on the ground and I don't lift my hips up, my head can still touch the ground. So you want to make sure you really get used to lifting those hips up as you bring your feet over and pushing with those hands. So when you bring your feet there, bring your feet towards your shoulder as well. Don't let them go straight over your body. You don't want to kind of fall to the side. And that's where it's important to lift your hips. So go back, lift, plant, and notice how I plant my feet. Don't go to your knees and your feet and then kneel to a stand. Your back roll should look like this. Just like so, and you want to pop up quick. Now, once you get your back roll, here's where the awkward part happens. When you're doing a back roll popping into that forward roll, the most awkward part is that you are literally rolling completely over your shoulder, almost like you're gonna go straight back, roll up, and lay back down to your belly like a worm. But you're actually, when you're bumping your hips and feet up, you're not just going up and just bringing them over, you gotta twist your hips, your feet, and your shoulders. And that's where that one hand that reaches over is extremely essential. Think of it this way, when that hand plants there, imagine that hand being just like when you're doing your forward shoulder roll, now when I was in martial arts, I was taught to imagine when I put that hand down, I want to imagine as if I'm kind of rolling along that whole part. Now when you're doing a shoulder roll, you don't want to kind of roll along your entire arm, but the way you collapse it, the way that arm kind of gives you a guide in which direction to start your roll or which direction to lead in, similar thing when you're popping up. And if you don't twist your hips and your feet around, you're not going to get lined up and that's where you slam onto your hips. So here's the sequence. You're going to go back. When you're going back, as you pump your hips up, you should also plant your hands. Planting that hand and bumping your hips should be the same motion. Then you twist your hips and you roll over your shoulder. Then you push hard off that arm and tuck into that forward roll. Turn your body all the way so that you can follow through with that forward roll. That way you don't slam on your hips. There's no real easy way to do this slowly. It's not like somebody can sit there and just pick your feet up and help you roll over. So it's kind of like its own movement. So just be ready for that. Find a soft surface where you can practice this on so you don't injure yourself. And if you feel like you're going sideways or crooked, if you feel like you're slamming on your hip, 
focus on the bump. If you bump your hips all the way up, you give yourself a lot more height and momentum upwards to make that complete 180 spin to follow through into that forward roll. So hopefully that helps you guys. With that though, that is the tutorial for this awkward roll. If you guys learned something from this, if this tutorial helped you out, please share it. Sharing these videos helps me and my family. It helps your fellow athletes and the other people that get to see it. I hope I've helped you guys out. If I have it, please let me know and I'll do my best to address your issues. Other than that, take great care and as always, stay positive.